So how did this all get started? everybody and welcome to the vlog you know I wonder how this whole thing kind of got going I mean I started with a snake in my mom's basement when I was a teenager and now I'm sitting in a $40,000 anaconda cage inside my own reptile zoo I mean dreams really do come true and that's what it's all about is following your passion and following your dreams and never letting anyone tell you you can't achieve what you want to listen I know when you're starting out and you're really passionate about something you're thinking like how do I get to my end goal and when I was a kid a teenager I knew I wanted to work with reptiles I wanted to work with animals but I didn't know what that meant you know I didn't know I mean what was the option you could work at a zoo you could maybe work at a vet clinic uh, you could do you know things I, I didn't even know I just knew that I wanted to work with reptiles and really when you're a kid like that the thought of having a reptarium like this it's to a point where you really can't ever really visualize that happening because you're you're starting with nothing you know I didn't have money I didn't have anyone backing me so I had to start with whatever I did and I worked at a pet shop right because again I wanted to be around animals and luckily enough I met a guy that was actually breeding stuff like corn snakes and that's why I've always loved corn snakes, right? Is that that was my first kind of animal I bred. You know, I was keeping Burmese pythons and ball pythons and boas, but I bred corn snakes for the first time. And I just thought to myself, maybe this is my in, right? The fact that, you know, maybe my dream was to eventually work in a zoo or have a zoo or do what I'm doing now. But the fact is, is that I just wanted to work with animals and working with reptiles and breeding them was a great opportunity for me to surround myself with the animals I love so hard. So that's where BHB got started. Just when I was 16, 17 years old and I started breeding corn snakes. And it was an opportunity for me to say, hey, maybe I can make enough money to maybe start to open the doors to other things. You have to remember back then, no one was a full-time reptile breeder. There was no such thing as a career as a reptile breeder. So it wasn't like I was looking for that, but I thought it was a stepping stone, not knowing that that stepping stone was going to be the better part of 25 years of my life. And I tell you what, guys, over the years, I have been able to work with such amazing animals, not just reptiles, but mainly reptiles. I mean, piebald ball pythons, I saw them prove out to be genetic. We were able to see so many amazing things and the ability for BHB to breed snakes and sell snakes and do all that stuff really afforded me the opportunity to not only be around animals all the time but to support my family and to travel all over the world to do things I mean again that little kid that worked at that pet shop that met that guy for the first time never could have dreamt that this life would have taken me on such a wild journey but the truth is even as much as I love breeding reptiles now and have always the end goal was always to have something more like the reptarium but even through all of this it just didn't seem to fit the plan right and then guess what along came YouTube I've been YouTubing for over 13 years made about 3,000 videos on the platform on all of the channels from snake bites animal bites all the way to my vlog channel it's been a wild ride and it's really been life-changing to be honest with you I've been able to travel all over the world to do some pretty crazy adventure stuff met so many amazing people and quite honestly just had tremendous support from each one of you guys so why am I telling you this all anyway? The truth is, is that I just want to always inspire you guys to follow your dreams, right? I mean, it's pretty amazing. You guys know that I wasn't born with a silver spoon in my mouth by any stretch, and that no one really gave me anything, that it's all been about hard work, whether it's myself, my family, my crew, everyone around me has worked so hard to achieve these goals. But you know what? I'm just a normal person. And a normal person that you guys know 
deals with some mental health with anxiety yet I've been able to push through those things and really work with such amazing animals like El Machino here and so many of the animals not only at BHB but also here at the Reptarium and that was the thing that the end goal was always to do something like this right and YouTube and all the other opportunities like gave me the chance to do that dream don't get me wrong I still love breeding snakes I still love BHP still love all of that but this was my happy place I've told people a million times that if you asked me 10 years ago where would you want to be in life if it was perfect this is it I'm at my spot where I've always wanted to be and you guys know I've been working through some anxiety some mental health issues I'm getting better and I want to continue to inspire you guys that might be dealing with similar issues or maybe no issues at all that you can go after your dreams and do amazing things because trust me as I'm getting better and feeling more myself I'm feeling more grateful than ever to be able to have these animals and to look around and be able to share the experience of this amazing place and I know you guys can too whether it's animals or whatever Whatever you're really passionate about always go after your dream because when you get there it is so worth it and I want to continue to tell you guys you can do it I believe in you I know you can you know every now and then I want to drop a vlog like this just kind of talking to you guys because this is a big part of my life is trying to inspire people and uh, it doesn't mean that life is easy when you try to go after your dreams right you know there's always a lot of resistance that happens there's ups there's downs I think one of my favorite charts I've ever seen was that you know what people think success is and what success really is right there's two steps forward one step back constantly I mean think about it we open up the addition for the reptarium and literally three days later we were shut down because of the virus for three months and now we're operating on a completely different level than we ever have but we've made it work right we've made everything work and that's what it's all about you know when you're following your dreams and you're pursuing those things even when road bumps come it can be tough and you guys know that I suffered through it I mean this one was the hardest one that I've been hit with in uh, 15 or 18 years but you know what I'm coming out of it now and I want to share that experience with you guys soon I'm going to do a separate video on that uh, it won't be a vlog but it'll be an extra video on this channel of what my process has been to get to that point but through even the hardest time I still was pushing forward you guys know I didn't take a day off you guys know I was still pushing forward and I know you guys can too it doesn't mean it's going to be easy as a matter of fact it may be harder than going the easy route but the fact is is that the reward is so worth it So listen, if this message resonates with you right now and you're, you're struggling to get off your butt and go follow your dreams, today's the day, you know what I mean? Get off and do it. Listen, it may take you years to finally get to where you want to be. It took me a lot of years to get to where I'm now happy with at least this part of my life. So it's, it's an ongoing thing, but you have to start now. What does they say? How do you eat an elephant one bite at a time? Well, today's the day. Do me a favor. Seriously, just start thinking about what you want to do. Start making actions. Take out a notebook. Start writing down ideas. Start taking action. Remember, a vision without action is just a dream. And you don't want to be a dreamer, right? You want to be a doer. So uh, I just felt like you needed to hear this today. I needed to tell you this today. And uh, I hope that this really has resonated with someone out there. And you decide you want to change the world because listen, you can do it. If I can do it, I know you can. Okay. That's enough of my inner Gary V for you there. Uh, let's go ahead and get back to some snakes. I think I've got some babies hatching, so what do you say we take a look at those? Guess what hatched out? Some more Mexican black king snakes. It seems like it's been a minute since we hatched the Mexican black king snakes. They're just one of the most popular colubrid snakes, you guys know that. And we hatched a bunch earlier this year, and then there was a, the last like three, four weeks, we haven't hatched any at all. So it's kind of nice to get some more Mexican black king snakes. Not a big clutch here, but nevertheless, really beautiful babies. Looking really good once these guys shed out and have that black sheen to them. Ooh, doggy. These things are amazing. I'm always excited when I see these baby snakes. This is actually an Abbott Scalus Okati, bred to an Abbott's Het Scalus, and look at all of the Scalus Abbots. I mean, we hit the lottery on this one right here. There's a bunch of normal Abbots that are Het for Scalus, and then a bunch of the Abbott Scalus in here. Ooh, doggy. I tell you what, these things are great. And I've mentioned before that I personally like the Abbott Scalus probably better than any of the other Scalus stuff. So I'm super excited that we hit a whole bunch of them in this clutch. I mean, how awesome is that? Another clutch of little albino Nelson's milk snakes. Unbelievably beautiful ones. This one almost has what they call bullseyes on it, which is the, just more circles than the triads that go all the way around. This was a het albino bred to an albino. So about half the babies are coming out normal. And this little monkey is getting away right here. 
half of them come out normal like this Nelson's milk snakes that are het for albino and then the other half come out albino. Woo! I tell you what, I'm gonna have to put my camera down or I'm gonna be in trouble. Come on, little monkeys, come on. Always make sure there's no heads caught, you know what I mean? But nevertheless, really cool clutch. We still have a bunch of baby colubrids to hatch, but it's been an amazing year seeing all these incredible babies. RG, want some food, bud? Want some food? Whoa, calm down, there you go. Woo hoo! Tell you what, that is a awesome pet animal right there. So what is the future? You know, I talk about it every now and then. You know, honestly, uh, the future is exciting. It really is. I mean, number one, I'm super excited about the podcast moving forward. I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm excited to feel normal and to get past this anxiety for good. And I'm excited for happiness and success down the road. You know, I feel like I'm just getting started. I mean, after all, it's only been a couple years that I've been living this dream that I've always dreamt about. And I hope that the next couple years, I'll live that dream without the anxiety and the issues that I've been dealing with. And this very basement that we're standing in right now might be the future of the Reptarium expansion, downstairs and upstairs. I'm excited about that, I hope it happens. But first, I have to always remember that no matter what I'm doing, I'm keeping my mental health in mind and my happiness in mind. Not to expand, to succeed, just to succeed, but to expand and exceed because it's gonna make me happy. And that's what you need to figure out too. Don't try to go for something success-wise that's gonna make you miserable. Only go for the things that are going to make you happy. My new motto is that, what is this gonna do five years now for me? In five years, will I be happy? If I am, then I'm gonna go for it. If five years from now, it's gonna cost me more work, headache, hassle, I'm not interested in doing it no matter how much money is behind it. So I'm excited about the future. I think you guys should be excited about the future. And I appreciate that you guys have come along to this stage and I cannot wait to bring you along on the rest of this journey. Finally, Noah's in the house and we're yes. making some progress on the Bad. podcast room. So you excited yeah. to see it? I'm excited. I haven't seen anything. You told me kind of not to look. Oh, this is the same. same. Yeah, this is the same. <laughs> New electrical. New electrical. Woo! Look at that. We have framing. I know, there's framing. Oh my God. Okay, so what do we do? We walk in. So this is, is the this? this is the control room camera room. Okay. So this is where like you can be editing and yeah. you, Jay and Anthony will be in here. This will all nice. be like a countertop that goes all the way across here all the way to this side here. Then of course, Jay will be sitting here, the window into the podcast room. Second person can sit and watch over here if they want. So now you gotta walk over here. Yeah, I like that actually. I was thinking that we would have to walk through the control room, but this is better, I think. Absolutely. And then this is the oh, podcast. Yeah. Much better, huh? <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah, it's gonna be much better. Oh man, this is awesome. This I is know. A crazy, just... This is like kind of how I imagined it two and a half years ago. I know, when we were just like, talking about it. Yeah, exactly. It's like what it's becoming now. Yeah. So it's crazy how long time flew by, but, or how fast it flew by, I should say. I don't yeah. even know. This is, it's just kind of unbelievable. Awesome. We've been so, on that plastic table for so long. It's just I know, like, it's gonna be so we're cool. We're really it's... getting an upgrade. Oh my gosh, yeah. A couple weeks, this place is gonna be done. It'll be awesome, right? It is awesome. Cool. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I hope you're not upset with me for uh, motivating you guys today. Sometimes I just need to get that out of my system because I'm really passionate about trying to inspire you guys. So uh, for that, I appreciate it. If you guys enjoyed the video, here actually is a playlist of building the Reptarium. My dream come true for sure. Up in this corner right here, you can subscribe to my podcast channel called Checking In. I think you guys are gonna like it. A lot of cool things coming up in the future. On this side, you can actually subscribe to this vlog channel Turn your post notifications on. Have an absolutely wonderful day. Remember, be kind to someone, and I promise I'll see you tomorrow.